And that breaking news here, good morning, Oklahoma, cutting into programming uh, because we're following this. The state of Oklahoma has officially confirmed that James Coddington has been executed. So Coddington was sentenced here to death for the 1997 beating death of 73 year old Albert Hale. Prosecutors say Coddington killed Hale because Hale refused to give him money and the Oklahoma Pardon and Parole Board uh, recently recommending clemency for Coddington. Uh, during the hearing, Coddington says he regretted his action, his actions. Again, uh, they're just confirming here just a few minutes ago that Coddington has been executed, that execution has been carried out. We do expect to hear uh, in a press conference here from uh, officials at the prison, as well as family members, uh, media witnesses to that execution as well. We're going to have that here in just a few minutes. We also have KOCO's Andy Weber on that scene right now there at the execution. Uh, we're going to check in with him in just a few minutes as well. But first, we're going to get to KOCO's Kylie Walker. She is outside of the governor's mansion where a uh, protest is taking place this morning uh, against that execution. And, and Kylie, set the scene for us. What's going on out there? Yeah, right now we're outside of the governor's mansion right across the street from it. And just to give you a live look at what we're seeing, this is a group of those protesters now formed in a circle. They've been uh, praying. They've been uh, speaking about, speaking out against the death penalty here in the state of Oklahoma. And right now they're actually having a moment of silence uh, to honor James Coddington, uh, who we just learned confirmed from the state of Oklahoma uh, was executed this morning uh, around 10 a.m. Um, these people, they, they've been talking about how they oppose the death penalty in the state of Oklahoma and how they say that today's execution is not the outcome that they wanted. Uh, but again, people have been passing by this group, honking their horns in support of what they're doing out here. Again, right outside of the governor's mansion. Yesterday, the governor, he was, uh, he denied clemency for James Coddington, uh, saying that he had done a thorough review of the evidence and the arguments in the case, and that's what led to that decision. But again, this group out here, uh, holding a moment of silence in honor of James Coddington and uh, awaiting that confirmation from the state. But like we have confirmed already from the state, James Coddington was executed this morning around 10 a.m. Back to you guys at the desk. All right, Kylie, thank you very much. And as I mentioned, we have KOCO's Andy Weber. He is out in McAllister this morning where that execution just took place. And, and Andy, uh, uh, paint the scene for us. What, what's the atmosphere out there this morning? Well, we're in a quiet room full of media observers and other media here, so it's full It's full of an impartial people. Now, outside the prison walls, we have been told there is a small gathering uh, organized by the Oklahoma Coalition to um, abolish a death penalty. Uh, they said they'd be out both in Oklahoma City as well as here in McAllister outside uh, where the execution was being performed. So, uh, still a quiet scene here. We're waiting on the media witnesses as well as jail officials and possibly um, if any victims, a family or other family wishes to speak following this execution. All right, Andy, and we'll check in with you in just a few minutes. We know that press conference is coming up here uh, in just a couple of minutes. Uh, so we want to say that this week we spoke with Mitch Hale. He is the son of uh, Al, who recently uh, recalled his dad fondly and spoke about his dad's uh, friendship with Coddington. Take a listen. My dad would win lonely money, but he would be willing to buy him groceries and gas. I mean, that, that's James's own testimony. You know, that's not me saying that. That's James saying that. So, I mean, uh, they were friends. My, my dad my dad was friends with everybody. I mean, he was never, my dad wouldn't turn down anybody, period. I mean, that's just his personality. So Hale says after years in and out of the courtroom, he is thankful to see all of this come to an end. Closure, not Closure is not the right word, but the end is in sight. You know, we're not going to, my family is not going to be drugged through this, you know, every four or five years. And, and so just, I think it, we're just relieved that this is coming to an end. So Hale says he forgives Coddington and hopes that after today, his family can truly begin to heal. Now, there are many people speaking out against this execution today, including uh, the Archbishop of Oklahoma City, Paul Coakley. He said in part, quote, Governor Stitt's denial of clemency to James Coddington is disappointing. 
There are other ways to administer just punishment for crimes without resorting to lethal measures that do not align with our state's pro-life values and only serve to perpetuate the cycle of violence. Pray for an end to the death penalty. That statement there from the Archbishop here in Oklahoma. And the Oklahoma Coalition to Abolish the Death Penalty speaking out against Governor Stitt's decision as well to deny that Coddington clemency. The coalition's chair, Reverend Don Heath, speaking to KOCO about that decision last night. He calls himself a CEO. Most CEOs accept the recommendations of their boards. This governor rejects it. He thinks he'll just operate on his own opinion and he gives no facts to support his opinion. So in a statement, Heath saying, quote, Coddington is a changed man. He has been a model prisoner for 15 years. He has repeatedly acknowledged his crime and expressed remorse for killing Albert Hale. This is the strongest case that can be made for clemency. And also following the governor's decision to deny clemency, a local church also taking a stand against that execution. So take a look here. They have placed 25 crosses on the lawn of Clark Memorial United Methodist Church in Oklahoma City. That represents the 25 death row inmates scheduled to be executed in the next few months by the state. And now one of those 25 representing Coddington. Let's get back out to KOCO's Andy Weber here this morning. He's out in McAllister. You can uh, see him there in that shot. He's getting ready and preparing for that press conference that's coming up here in just a few minutes, that live presser where we expect to hear from uh, witnesses. Uh, Andy, uh, what can you tell us here leading up to that presser? Well, it's been a long morning. We started here early today waiting on this execution. It was scheduled for 10 a.m. Happened about a little under 20 minutes after that scheduled time. It, of course, is a process. It does take time to carry out something like this. As you mentioned, we've heard from several groups leading up to this execution that opposed uh, the, the action. They also uh, opposed Governor Stitt denying clemency for James Coddington, but it was carried out. The victim's family, Albert Hale's family, have said that they, or at least the son, has said he forgives James Coddington for his actions, but that he still wanted to see him face his consequences, in this case, his death sentence. We're waiting on a press conference to start with jail officials, as well as media witnesses, and possibly uh, witnesses from the victim's family or from uh, supporters of James Coddington. We'll carry that live once it begins on KOCO.com. Reporting live in McAllister, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News. All right, Andy, thank you so much. So just to reset here, the state of Oklahoma has officially confirmed that James Coddington has been executed. He was sentenced to death for the 1997 beating, a death of 73-year-old Albert Hale. Now, prosecutors say Coddington killed Hale because Hale refused to give him money. Pardon Parole Board recommended clemency here, though the governor denied that clemency, leading to that execution being carried out this morning. <laughs>